Hey, hot dogs, I'm back once again. I hope you all had a great weekend. Today we're talking about band practice, a bit of make it to May, and much, much more. Now, let's send it to our pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, we're recognizing our principal, Cindy Long, for Principal Appreciation Day. Thank you for all you've done to make this school better each day. All of this week is Teacher Appreciation Week, so thank the teachers around the school for all the effort they put into teaching every student. Also, don't forget the Frankfurt Hispanic Heritage Festival essay contest is still happening. Here's a quick message from Esmeralda Cruz with more information. Hi FHS students, my name is Esmeralda Cruz from the Purdue Extension Office and I am one of the committee members organizing the Frankfurt Hispanic Heritage Festival for 2022. We're bringing back the um, essay contest for high school students just like we did in 2021. So we're inviting all high school students to please participate in this essay contest. The topic for this year is how do you honor all parts of your culture that makes you who you are? And we are wanting to thank our sponsor, which is Lions Club. We appreciate um, their sponsorship of the essay contest because they will be donating $200 for first place, $100 for second place, and $50 for third place. The Frankfurt Hispanic Heritage Festival is going to be taking place on Saturday, September 17th from 4.30 to 10.30. And the first, second, and third place win winners will be recognized on stage that day. So just submit your essay for the essay contest by Wednesday, August 24th by 5 p.m. You're definitely welcome to submit it before then, whether that be this school year, the summertime, but definitely make sure that you submit it before August 24th, and you will just submit that to myself, Esmeralda Cruz, and I do have a school email, so feel free to also reach out with any questions. So we look forward to getting your essay submissions. Thank you. If you have any more questions or you're just curious, you can look in the chatter. Summer marching band practices are starting next week on Monday from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Here's a message from Mr. Hutton for more info. Hey, it's Mr. Hutton coming to you from the band hallway, and we want you to be a part of our marching band show for next year. It's going to be Pitbull themed, and it's going to be a blast. Our first practice is on May the 9th, and if you want to join us, even if you've never been in band before, but especially if you've been in band, we really want you, but even if you never have, join us May 9th. Come to the band room, room 308, and talk to me about it. Hope to see you there. Thank you, Mr. Hutton. All students are more than welcome to join. For more information, see Mr. Hutton in the band room. Now to sports and weather. Why didn't I get a count? Good morning, dogs. Over the weekend, the Lady Dogs softball team traveled to Rossville to compete in county. The dogs first faced the Clinton Central Bulldogs, falling 4-2. The girls play Tri-West here at home tomorrow at 5.30. Make sure you come out and support the Lady Dogs. The boys baseball team defeated Clinton Central on senior night on Saturday, 12-2. Jose Lopez and Quincy Perry each hit a home run in the win. Congratulations to senior Kevin Lopez, Andy Gijosa, Deacon Spencer, Connor Boone, and Damian Lopez. The team is now 11-4 on the season and 6-1 in the conference. The Dogs are here at home tomorrow facing the Tri-West Hendricks. The game starts at 6. The girls tennis team Travels to Delphi later tonight to face the Oracles. Matches start at 5.30. The track team is here at home tomorrow hosting Sheridan and Lebanon in a three-way meet. The meet will begin around 6. That's all for Sports Dogs. Now to Eli. Thanks, Bow Wow. The weather coming in day was a solid 48 degrees. Right now, the low is 46, but I bet it still feels nice out. We're expecting cloudy skies when we exit the facility today, and the high will be tonight at 5, hitting 65. Storms should start trickling in later tonight around 11, and those storms should go all the way till tomorrow morning, maybe even tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow should be rainy all day with around a 90% chance of thunderstorms. Now let's send it to the McDonald's quitter, Pedro. Last Friday was the last day for Make It to May. We had Hot Dog Fanatic Friday on Friday anyways. <laughs> the winner was Selena Swalk. Congratulations, Selena. Just a reminder that the Frankfurt Public Library's Walk in the Park begins this Thursday through the 31st. 
For more information, you can check the chatter. A happy birthday goes out to Chloe Bell, Sophia Guy, and Brian Valdez. For lunch today, lines 1, 2, spicy chicken, and lines 3 and 4, Big Daddy Pizza. That's all for today's announcements. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content from the Hot Dog Network, might as well like and subscribe. And if you want to see our daily announcements each day, then hit the bell for more notifications. Have a great day, hot dogs.